Hi guys, this is David from Arzama Engineering and in this video I would like to present officially the Spark Pin for barbecue controller. There are a lot of information, and other posts and videos and tutorials but I realized that uh, I never done a, a full video uh, to illustrate all the technical characteristics of this nice controller. Later on I will add other couple of uh, videos, one dedicated to the functions and the software and the configuration and one dedicated to the smartphone app control for remote control. So in this video I will focus mainly on overall characteristics and overall features uh, and try to give you a complete picture of SmartPit. Just a few words about the SmartPit project. SmartPit uh, is a technology, is a platform, it's a software that uh, I started developing a couple of years ago and is focused mainly on controlling uh, food and beverage process. That is a version for the uh, beer and home brewing automation. There is a version for a generic controller to automate and allow uh, your uh, fermentation chamber, all this stuff. Then the jump and the, the, the path from the beer to the barbecue has been very short and since I'm very fond of this uh, food and beverage I specialized the controller and the, of course the, the technology and the software to control a charcoal barbecue to control the temperature inside the uh, charcoal barbecue or a smoker or whatever. In principle, controlling the temperature in, a, in a, such a device is not so easy, it's not so intuitive, like uh, regulating I don't know, the, the gas in a gas burner or, or the electricity in an electric cooker. Uh, for the charcoal, I take a principle, very, say, very, very simple, in practice very simple, the idea is to inflate, to push air inside the barbecue and the more air you, you push inside on the charcoal and the higher will be the temperature. It's very intuitive. The more is the oxygen that the, you inflate inside, the more is the temperature. So the idea is to regulate the quantity of oxygen inside your barbecue in order to regulate the temperature and keep it stable. Here you see my small mini mini barbecue. I use it in practice but uh, it's mainly for demo and for videos and for time fair. And what do you do typically to regulate temperature? Typically you move the vent in just to open or close the inlet of the air. What we do instead in a more technology, technological way, more, more advanced way, is to use a fan, a blow fan, to push air inside. This is the one that is provided in the barbecue kit. Now, I did a hole in the bottom and just have this, this connection. Here is a temperature sensor, a temperature probe that measure the temperature of the, of the pit, provide the information to the smart pit and uh, with the PIT algorithm and the control temperature algorithm, the uh, smart pit regulates the rotation speed, so the fan speed from 0 to 100, so it modulates, it uh, uh, regulates the quantity of oxygen that is inside the market. According to this, uh, say loop, temperature controller and fan, we can keep the temperature very stable, very precise. Of course, we have to uh, close the cooking, we close all the vents, so the only source of oxygen is the fan of uh, uh, the controller and in this way we can keep the temperature very stable. We did a lot of tests very different situation with smoker, with uh, 
barbecue with cabinet, with offset and whatever and it's really impressive the performance in terms of stability and in terms of precision. You can keep really very stable for slow and low cooking, the temperature just modulating, very fine tuning the, the speed of the, of the fan. So just to summarize the principle, temperature, pit, pit pro temperature collects the temperature every uh, seconds, calculates the rotation fan speed and uh, push the, the precision inside. So nothing rocket science, but uh, needs some, let's say, very precise uh, algorithm tuning uh, and uh, uh, careful attention to the, to the software. Let's now uh, deep dive, uh, enter a little bit uh, in the controller and to illustrate what are the main technical stuff. So this is the controller, very compact and small box, it's a standard in box, plastic box, very, very compact, it's very easy to mount, panel mount, so you can make an own and just have a panel and then you have some way to, 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 to connect and uh, let's start from from the front here you have a, a 1.3 inches uh, organic LED display all display very bright very sharp you can see in every condition even outdoor in sunlight no problem at all you have four tactile switch you, through this you have your uh, is the interface to configure all the parameters, this change set point, change temperature, and, and so on. But we will see well, in a specific video. Very important and very unique. We have a, here you see a USB, micro USB connectors. This is used for many functions to download the, the log data, the process data, but is very very useful to perform a software upgrade, a software update. Smartpeed pro project is uh, way live. I collect uh, features, suggest and feedback and, and, uh, and then I update uh, the software. Just connecting the USB to your laptop or your desktop, you can easily, very easily upgrade the software. And this is useful also for bike correction. So this is front let's move to the back here we have all the connection let's start from the one of the main characteristics is that the spark bit is a dual channel controller you have bit channel and you have foot channel so you can connect two props one for the bit that mainly drives the fan speed and one two for the foot this is mainly used to, of course, monitor temperature, but to get uh, alarm, to set threshold and so on. Uh, apart from the advanced cooking mode, where this will also act uh, towards the, the fan. So, two channels, two independent channels, and a very nice feature, so you can connect here the two probes. You can use either NTC thermistor, very, very common, low cost but a very good and precise NTC like this one but you can also connect the thermocouple K-type thermocouple these are typically used in high temperature high precision so here you see you have connector for thermocouple and two for the NTC from software configuration you can select independently for each channel either to use NTC or thermocouple so you can reuse fully reuse your, your probes if you have done from thermometers. You can configure every type of NTC based on resistance. So if you know technical characteristics from menu, from software, you can input the value and you can then use every uh, type of, uh, of NTC available on the market. Let's continue. So we have seen the two food and, uh, and uh, pit channels. Then uh, let's go to the fan. Here again, total flexibility. You can use every type of fan. Uh, you have 
on the market typically are blow fan used for cooling computer and stuff like this. You can drive two wires fan, very simple, just positive and negative, three wires that have also a tachometer, and also four wire fan. The four wire have the PWM signal to control speed, and this is a four wire fan. As this is the one provided in the kit. You see you have a connector of four wires, power supply, tachometer, and P1 speed regulation. So this is a very powerful fan with the 1314 CFM and you see it's a masterpiece, one single stainless steel frame. This is uh, the, 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 let's say the, the connectors, threaded connector and there's a uh, uh, one half inch so you can connect to it very easily you know, some, with some fittings you can connect very easily to your smoke to your kettle and as you can see in order to avoid the overheating of the plastic part uh, yeah, there are some ceramic insulator so the, the, the fan don't touch the, the stainless steel part that is a, a space here and this uh, very craft and very, very nice piece of hardware, nice piece of engineering. This is, but again, okay, you can connect any other fan type if you have one. You can connect, and then again, from software, you can configure the fan type to wise, three wise, four wise, whatever the frequency of PWM, whatever. So, total flexibility. Let's go to this one is the power connector. And here again, we have a unique characteristics. You can drive and you can power on smart bill from 5 volt DC up to 12 volts. The fan typically are 12 volts, but so you can use your classic let's say, power supply. You can plug your AC socket and then drive. But what is most important, you, through this cable, this adapter, you have the classic power connector and the other USB connector. You can try the smart bead and the fan through a classic uh, power bank. This is the classic uh, charge, uh, recharge power bank for, uh, for a smartphone. But typically very cheap and now also very powerful. With this one, that, you know, how much is the power? You can drive uh, the fan at uh, for, for so many hours, so there is a circuit inside that allow you to increase the 5 volts, these are 5 volts, uh, step up the, the 5 volts power and drive perfectly the fan, the 12 volts fan. So, this is a, so if you have any outdoor cooking or you have not a socket very close, you don't need any, any cables, uh, nothing, just power bank, connect to smart bit and uh, it's done. Last but not least, we have two let's say, auxiliary output. One is for this component. You may wonder what is it. This is a servo mechanism. It's used in uh, RC model and stuff like this. And uh, the idea is to build an accessory to automate the vent mechanism. So not only controlling the fan speed, but also, I'm building a system to put here to open and close the air. We'll see maybe in a dedicated video. This will be an accessory, and, uh, but the software and the hardware is already compatible with this type of mechanical automation. But you will see later on. And you see, there is also an auxiliary output if you need any. I don't know, any future application that you, you may suggest. So, basically this is uh, uh, the, the main uh, say, characteristic. Uh, of course, we have also the, uh, last but not least, uh, the smart bid is uh, as in, inside a uh, Wi-Fi module, so you can connect very easily to your home uh, gateway or router and connects to internet and this allows you to remotely control 
wherever you are, not just in the house or on Wi-Fi connected, any 3G, 4G network, you can remotely monitor your process and you can control and interact. But again, we will have a dedicated video just to, to, to show you uh, how it works. Let's suppose this is connected to the Wi-Fi. Here you have the smartphone Android app. You have, I have many devices indeed. And uh, you, you can manage multiple devices. Then you can select one, and here is the main dashboard, you have temperature, you have thresholds, alarms, and here you get notification, events, whatever. You can have your plot, you can see graphically set point and temperature, and you can interact even. You can change the set point, stop the fan, and other nice feature, you can export completely your uh, cooking data and you can then post-process and do some, uh, some nice uh, analysis. Last but not least, again, you can have also added this capability to configure the parameters. Everything can be done from SparkPit itself, but it's very easy to use this as a say, configurator. You can select your, I don't know, barrel smoker, drum smoker, or cat, or whatever, some parameters fan speed and the PAT parameter are suggested, but then you can change and uh, do a fine tuning for, for your system. So uh, this is the, the app, very, very nice, very powerful, and, uh, uh, but we will see in a very detailed and dedicated video. What else? Just checking the list, here is comparison and the other comparison. There are so many features that uh, I maybe forgot something. Okay, I forgot there is also a buzzer inside just to get uh, uh, beep and alarms. And uh, I think uh, that's, that's all. Mainly these are all the characters. So you see something unique, but very flexible to a general controller, only display, USB, any type of fan, K type. NTC uh, and the uh, thermal couple and uh, power through USB power bank. Uh, so, this is a uh, smart bit just for sake of clarity what is uh, typically in the, in the kit. Of course, the controller. I provide a fully a fan, complete fan, two, two probes, NTC type already pre-configured the, the, the support for the for the pit and the two ropes uh, the power supply the cable adapter and this is mainly what is inside the the kit but you can buy also any single components that's all for this uh, say introduction and this uh, presentation video. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you are interested to this uh, product and if you have any feedback, any suggestion, something that you would like to add uh, more, uh, very happy to understand and uh, if it's possible I will upgrade the software and eventually even there. So let's see. The next video, the one to relate to function and features, and then the one for the remote control via smartphone. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye.